Hey friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. So tonight I am going to show you some personalized t-shirts using my Cricut. These are for graduation and it's got Brianna's face on it with her graduation picture. You could do these for family reunions, cruises, just you name it. These are super fun. So, as you can see, I went in to, I opened Design Space, and then I went in to upload from my photos. I pulled in her photo, and you can go in, clean it up however you want, and I'm just showing that you can clean it up if you want to, you don't have to if you don't want to, and save it. Now, I'm actually using one that I've already cleaned up. I just wanted to show you that you could do either way. So, I wanted it to be around her head, so that's what I did. So, I just bring it in, and I go in and put in my sizing that I want it to be. Now this is gonna be a print then cut. So I've already turned on my inkjet printer and it is ready to go. So I'm doing three t-shirts. So after I get the size that I want, I just hit duplicate two times and I have three. Now, as you can see, I put it on and send it to my printer. Now this is the transfer paper that I'm using. I got this at Walmart. It has a combination of light fabric and dark fabric in it. So the one with the red stripes is for light fabric. And make sure that you put it in your copier so that it's printing on the non-striped side. So it printed and now I'm putting it on my mat and I'm just going to hit continue in design space and put it into my Cricut maker and it will go on. It will read the black box around it to pick up the cutting lines and then it'll go in and cut around my picture. So I did this three times. And then I went into design space, I opened it up, I went into text, I picked the font that I wanted, and I just went in and put the text that I wanted. It says 2020 grad team Brianna. And I'm using silver for this, their colors. Um, they're the Vipers and they are black, silver, and purple. And I didn't have enough purple, so we're using the silver. So then I have three shirts. I'm just going to get them ready. So for all of my shirts, I like to fold them in half. And then I iron them to put a crease down the center and that gives me a good idea for my center point. This is how I always do it. You can by all means measure it, do it however you want. But for me, I like things to be just, you know, simple and work. So I have my center point and I'm going to kind of judge where I want my picture to go because I am going to put some words above it and some words below it. So here's my picture. As you can see, I had it cut around the whole thing. And I'm just going to give it a little um, mark there so that I can see where my center is on my picture. And then I line that mark up to my center line on my shirt. And oh, there we go. Until, of course, I throw my picture off. So this transfer material here, it tells you on it how um, much heat and for how long. This is 330 at, at for 
30 seconds if you're using your heat press. If you're using a regular iron, then you're going to go to a medium high setting. All right, so after I have everything all lined up, then I'm going to put my heat press on. I'm going to do just straight pressure for the 30 seconds. No moving it around, just straight down, even pressure. I have the entire pitcher covered. So I'll only have to do one pass on this. Now when the pitcher is completed, then I'm going to go in. I'll take it off and then I will add my decals. This is so fun. So I have used this, I mean, baby blankets. I love this on baby blankets. You know, a blanket for like a grandma with, you know, the family on it. There are so many fun things you can do with this printable heat transfer. I love it. Love it so much. So I have 20, 20 grad that I'm going to put on the front. And I'm so excited to make these. These are for a very dear friend of mine. And her daughter is beautiful and amazing. And she has worked really hard. So I'm super excited for her. And it's so sad that, you know, they can't really have graduation parties and graduations a lot different this year than it was in the past. So our our graduates and our seniors from 2020, you know, really got the short end of the stick this year. So it's nice to, you know, try and make things as special as possible for them. And, you know, so her mom wanted to do something that would, you know, be a little bit different. And um, so her her mom, her brother, and her grandfather are all going to wear these shirts to graduation, and she's going to love it. So I'm so excited, and I'm really happy to have been able to do them for her. So, all right, so now I'm just going to line up where I want it on the bottom. Now, on this, because I am kind of going around the picture there and trying to be gentle near the top. I do have some places that I have to kind of go back in and, you know, kind of heat the corner a little bit. Just, you know, be careful when you're having to reheat something. You don't want to burn it. And if I take the plastic off and I feel like you know, maybe it's not down really well. I will put my iron back over it. Truly, you should use a barrier, though, when you do that to protect it. Now, I'm bad. I'll do a quick zip zip and get it done. But truly, you should be better than me and you should use a barrier when you do it. Because I'm always taking a chance every time I do it that way. So, yep, yeah, as you can see, I just kind of gave it a little zip zip. And this is the Cricut Everyday Iron-On in silver. So this one likes to cool before you take it off. Now, anytime you're using heat transfer vinyl, if you're not sure the temperature setting or how much, um, how, how long you put pressure on or heat it, if you go to Cricut.com, it is wonderful. It will give you the instructions for all types of heat transfer vinyl, and they really do make it very easy. So just gonna finish this little piece here up. And then I'll pull that off. You can see it turned out so super cute. 
and I'm so excited for her for graduation and this is going to be fan fantastic. So Brianna is a special needs young lady, a beautiful special young lady, and she's worked really hard. So I am so proud of her. Now I'm going to finish up the t-shirts and then I am also going to go back and just make a little purple decal with her name and some holographic vinyl and purple for her so that she can put it on the top of her cap. Yes, and this is a very exciting day for her and her mom and her grandfather and her brother, so I'm so happy for them. So here we go. You can see it turned out super cute. You can use this for so many things. Bye!